What's going on guys? Welcome back to our How to Run a Skid Steer series. Today is a really straightforward video. It's how to couple the buckets in the machine. That's a pretty straightforward process, but at the same time, if you've never done it, it's a little tricky the first couple times. Um, today, we're just gonna walk you through that process of taking off the bucket and putting the bucket back on the machine. The process is gonna be the exact same for any other attachment, you know, with the exception of actually hooking up auxiliary hydraulics. If you have those, don't worry, we'll get into that in another video. That being said, I hope this is a helpful video. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to drop them below. As always, hit that subscribe button so we can keep this thing going. Let's roll the intro. Alright guys, I'm just going to apologize for the audio quality, but this video, um, I basically just wanted to give you a quick overview of how we're going to couple the bucket. And so, I'm going to give you two different angles. The first angle is looking at the actual coupler as we go into the bucket. The second view is going to be what I'm doing with my hands um, to show you actually how to couple the bucket. So the first thing I'm going to do in this machine is I'm going to unlock my coupler. And you're going to see those lock indicators move up as I do this. So the lock pins are now in the up position. So that means I can go and enter my bucket and I can actually couple with it. So we're going to drive over here to our bucket. I'm going to curl away from myself so I can have that top lip where I can get it under the bucket. So we're gonna line up, we're gonna go in nice and soft, and then I'm gonna raise up with the boom to grab that bucket. And now as I'm lifting up, now I'm gonna curl, and it's gonna settle that bucket down on my coupler. I'm gonna curl all the way back, and now I'm gonna drop my pins and lock them in place. And now we can see that bucket is locked on. If I want to uncouple, I'm just going to do the opposite process. First of all, I'm going to raise my pins up, unlock, now I'm going to set the bucket down on the ground, curl away from it, and now back away from it. We've uncoupled. That's all there is to it. So now let's take a view from the controls. Alright, so here's a view of what I'm doing with my controls. Now, what I don't want you to do... My coupler unlock is up here on my left pillar. That's just with this machine. The process by which I raise these pins up to get into the coupler is gonna vary from machine to machine. Don't get hung up so much on this button and how I'm using this button. Because if you get into a cat machine or a John Deere, it's gonna function differently. The principles are the same though. So right now, I don't know if you can see it, but my pin indicators are up. We're just gonna confirm that they're all the way up and they are so my pins are up I can go into the bucket and so just fair warning you know I'm nice and lined up straight in this in this particular instance but that's not always going to be the case on a job you might have some funky stuff going on so let's set ourselves up for a funky situation so let's say we're coming into our bucket at an angle I'm never gonna line up here right it's a bucket you've got a big powerful machine shove it where you need it to be so grab it with the corner of the coupler drag it around, push up against it. You can make that bucket mate with your machine in any circumstance. As long as you get that lip underneath, the lip of your coupler underneath the lip of the bucket, you can raise up and that bucket will level itself to your coupler. And then you're gonna curl back. And then we're gonna lower our pins. see that pin is in that hole we're completely coupled and I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna restate this on every machine when you couple to a machine always 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 double check to make sure the attachment is coupled to the machine before you get over top of someone uh, many guys have been killed by someone not just taking five seconds to double check that the bucket is actually attached to the machine next thing you know you have a thousand fifteen hundred pound get into excavators you're talking a 3,000 pound bucket comes crashing down on a guy all it would have taken is five seconds to check always double check so to uncouple curl all the way 
way back towards the machine. On this particular machine, I'm gonna hit my unlock button, unlock my pins. Once they're unlocked, drop it down, curl away from it, and then just back right up. That's all there is to it. Uncoupling a bucket and coupling a bucket seems a little daunting when you first get rolling. There's really nothing to it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Otherwise, we'll continue this series.